Hi everyone, this is Random Design. Currently I'm working on a new case mod project for the Cooler Master World series. I am building the T-70 X-Wing of Poe from the latest Star Wars movie. This short video shows how I am working on the 3D model, which I built from scratch and used as a template for 3D printing. But don't miss the final making of coming soon. I constructed my X-Wing 3D model in Cinema 4D using a side view image as a template to meet the right proportions. I usually model half of the object and simply mirror it for a perfect symmetry and to save time of course. In general, I try to use basic objects and modify them to model individual parts as you can see here for the cockpit windows. The same I did when constructing the weapons. I started with a simple cylinder, which I adapted in size and then elongated. To create the C-shaped detail at the front, I used a tube as template and cut half off. Then I refined all edges. If you need an object multiple times in a certain arrangement, you can just clone it and adjust the number, size and distance. After adding some more details, I mirrored the finished weapon for both the upper and lower part of the wings. For the wings, I started with a basic cube and reconstructed the original shape. Same for the turbine. I simply used a cylinder as a basic construction. I like to add already some details to break the flat surface and give the model more structure. To create the mounting for the weapons, I used a deforming tool to bend the end of the wing. Again, I just cloned the object and attached it to the lower wing too. To shape the turbines really took some time, since I had to round edges, move certain areas and lift or lower others until I liked the final look. The nice thing about using primitives is also that they can be easily modified and turned into shapes you want. 3D designers are lazy and try to use any available shortcut. For the exhaust I defined a symmetric pattern of stripes that I lifted up. I also modeled the inside of the exhaust I included the lamella by selecting random polygons from the cylinder, which I extruded and welded to the inside of the exhaust. I also shaped the outside by incorporating and adjusting some basic elements. After all basic parts of the wings had been constructed and were in the right place, I focused on adding more details to create a more complex outer appearance. All edges were rounded to achieve a more organic and smooth shape.
Finally, I wanted to achieve also the characteristic Star Wars-like look by cutting in gaps. They should cause the illusion that the wing itself is not a single 3D printed piece, but was constructed from smaller individual parts and panels. I used my 3D model to print all the parts. Now it's time for processing and assembly, so stay tuned for our final making of. And if you want to see more of our projects, just subscribe to our YouTube channel.